Welcome to it. This is the A1 Sport. My name is Lonoabo Mbadlanyana, but you can call me Looney. Every single week, we are here bringing you the latest in all your sporting news right here on the finish line. Be sure, though, to hit the subscribe button and also let us know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. Where do you stand? What are your score predictions? Are you happy with what you're seeing in your sporting world right now? Do you have queries? Do you have beef? Let us know, man. We'd love to hear from you. We start things off, though, with some rugby news. In Super Rugby this past week, the Blue Bulls came back from 19 points down against the Jaguars in Loftus Fastball to win their game. 43-34 is how that one ended. Jesse Creel, Andre Pollard, and RG Sneeman doing the business and ensuring that the Blue Bulls make a, an outstanding comeback. Shoutouts to them. The other big fixture was the Sharks coming down to Newlands to play the Stormers. It was a coastal derby that went down, brah. 27-16 is how it ended. My predictions and a few other makes predictions getting it wrong on that one. The Stormers coming through with a W and uh, congratulations to them ending their season off with, uh, you know, with a big bang. It could have been better, but you know, not bad, not bad at all. I'll take a win over the Sharks any day. In cricketing news, the Pro Tiers ended their preparations in Colombo on Sunday evening as they prepare for their tour of Sri Lanka. Now, they drew a match against the Sri Lankan 11 side, but the test will start off in earnest on Thursday. So be sure to check that one out and we'll keep you updated with the developments of that game and that tour. Now, the Pro Tiers are gunning down the number one test spot and hopefully they can get it with a win in the subcontinent. Uh, it's their first tour in a, little, in a little while, but hopefully they will uh, they'll pull off the W and bring, or bring back that number one test spot right here to Mzanzi. In footballing news, the quarterfinals wrapped up and it saw France taking on Uruguay in their quarterfinal game. France coming through with the W on that one. They won that game 2-0. Antoine Griezmann and as well as Varane scoring either side of halftime to see the French go through 2-0 on that one. Congratulations to the French. The other big fix in the quarterfinals that day saw Belgium taking on Brazil uh, an own goal from Fernandino opened up the scoring for Belgium before Kevin De Bruyne made it two Augusto was uh, able to score a consolation goal that game ending 2-1 to Brazil and it sees them catching a flight back to Sao Paulo baby as East Brazil but it sees the Belgium side moving on they will take on France in their semi-final match now it's a little bit of an awkward situation because Thierry Henry World Cup winner in 1998 for France is an assistant coach for Belgium. So we shall see. Will he give up the cheat codes to the France defense? We don't know, but we find out on Tuesday evening. So be sure to check that out. Send in your score predictions though in the comment section below. Let us know who you think will be taking it between France and Belgium in the semis. My money might be on France, but we'll chop it up on the bench as well. On Saturday, saw the roundup of the quarterfinals. England took on Sweden, beating them 2-0. Goals from Harry Maguire and as well as Dele Ali securing their spot into the semi-finals. The other match was Croatia taking on host nation Russia, and it took a whole 120 minutes again for Croatia to secure their place into the semis. They won that match. 4-3 on penalties after they ended 2 all uh, in regulation time. Rakitic securing the penalties for them with the final kick, but will Croatia be able to see off England in the semi-finals? We find out this Wednesday as they take on each other in that game, and also on Tuesday, France will take on Belgium in their match. That's all I have for you on the finish line this week. Join us again next week, same time, same place. Also, don't forget to pop us a comment and let us know who you think will be taking the semi-finals and who you think will be going to the finals. France and Belgium do the business. Who do you have over there? And Croatia and England, who do you have over there? Don't forget to subscribe as well. We will check you later on in the week on the bench as we have another guest alongside myself and Baron wrapping up all your semi-final actions and looking forward to the final of the World Cup and also all your other sporting fixtures that be happening this week. I'm going to check you though. Salute ya. Yeah.